So a while back I got a comment from somebody asking me, Kassasara, is it possible to turn a single server into kind of a hub server? So with Bungie Court you can actually link multiple servers together. Pretty much every single minigame server in the world does this. So in Hypixel for example, every single time you go to another minigame, you're actually going to another server. Bungie Court is the thing that links them together. But there are also servers that have like minigames and they also have survival, they have a creative world. And all those different categories are actually different servers. But the downside of having multiple servers is of course, it is more expensive. You need to pay for multiple servers to link them all together and you also need to pay for the bungee cord server that actually links them together. This can all cost a lot of money and this is why somebody was asking me, Kassasara, is it possible to turn a single server into kind of an hub server that has a creative world, a spawn world and survival? And yes. Yes, there is. And today I'm going to show you how to do it with the multiverse plugins. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. It's also check if you are subscribed to the channel. My analytics show me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though I would really appreciate it, you would help me out a lot. And you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna replicate a bungee cord server. So a bungee cord server is multiple servers linked together on a server network. We don't want to pay for multiple servers so we're all gonna do it on one server. And we can do it through the help of Multiverse Core. So to start off, first you need to install all the Multiverse plugins, which are Multiverse Core, Multiverse Inventories and Multiverse Portals. Now I've also installed Essentials, Essentials Chat and Essentials Spawn just for the ease of use. And Essentials Spawn, we're actually gonna use it, so I would highly recommend just installing installing these six plugins, a link of course will be in the description of this video. Just click on the download button and put them inside of your plugins folder. Now after that we're actually going to set up all the worlds we need. So if you do MV list, you will see all the worlds that are currently inside of this server. So we have world the end, which is just the normal end world. We have the normal world, which is the overworld, and we have world nether, which is of course the nether. Now we want to create a few extra worlds. So these three worlds over here, we're gonna use them for survival. Now I want to have another spawn world and I want a world where we can build and creative. So to create them, we're just going to type MV create. And here you will see all the generation options you have. Now we want to create a spawn world. And for a spawn world, I think we just want a flat world. I mean, that's the easiest. So we're gonna type MV create. I'm gonna call it spawn. It's gonna be a normal world. Now, if we would create it right now, we will just get a normal, regular overworld. But we don't want that, we want to have a flat world. So we're gonna type minus T space and then flat and now it should create ourselves a flat world start creating of the world spawn complete now if we type mv list you will see that we have an extra world here we got ourselves a spawn world now to get there what we're gonna type is slash mv tp and then the name of the world in this case spawn there we go. We are in a brand new world. We are in a spawn world. And we have actually been set to survival. Because this world is set as a survival world. We will change that later. Now I also want another world where people can actually build and creative. Now I'm gonna be really creative. I want a nether world to be the creative world. So we're gonna create a second nether world. To do that we're gonna type MV create creative. And after that we're gonna type nether. That's it. Create and complete. Now we can type MV TP and then creative. There we go. Oh no! No! There we go. We are in a creative world. We gotta be very creative inside the nether here. So if we do MV list, you will see that now we have five different worlds. World the end, the normal world, creative, world nether, and the spawn. Now just to have a few things out of the way, the creative world and the spawn world are not connected in any way. Also the world we're in right now, which is creative, which is a nether world, is not connected to the normal world. So in a normal world, if you would go inside of a nether portal, you will actually go to world nether. Not too creative. Even though it is a nether world, it is completely separate. Now we actually want to make it so that they all have a separate inventory. So of course the main reason for this is that in survival and in creative you shouldn't have the same inventory. Because then you can just go to creative, you can grab all the diamonds you want, you can go to the normal survival world, and then you will still have the same diamonds. So you want those inventories to be separate. Now because in the spawn world people will have to choose if they go to creative or survival, we will also make that inventory separate. So what we are going to do now is type MV. V, inf, as in multiverse inventories, 
and then group. After that, it will ask you what would you like to do, create, edit, or delete. So let's first do edit. I want to see if there's already a group. Okay, we got a group, we got default. Let's type default. You don't have to use any slash here, just type default normally. There we go. Which would you like to change for default, worlds or shares? So I want to change the worlds of the default group. Let's type worlds, there we go. So there is a group called default, and right now the normal worlds, the nether and the end are already in there. So you're in inventory between the worlds, the nether and the end is already shared. So if we are here inside of this creative world and we go to the overworld by typing MVTP world, then I will lose my basalt block because we are no longer in the creative world. But if I would have a grass block like this over here and I would do MVTP world nether, then I will still have the dirt block and for some reason i'm on top of the nether doesn't matter it works that's what matters now because we already have a default group that shares the world the nether and the end we don't have to change anything because the creative world and the spawn world are already separate they are not connected in any way so basically we're good so the next step will be to actually mark the spawn world as the spawn world when people first join the server they will need to go to the spawn world not the regular overworld and of course when people do slash spawn they will need to go to that spawn world so let's go to spawn world by typing mvtp spawn there we go then let's go to creative real quick <laughs> and let's do slash day okay we still have lots of mobs here we will need to remove them later in the config what freak is that oh village of course we got a village hey this will be our spawn point how great is that people are gonna spawn inside of this this is gonna be our spawn point. Beautiful. The best spawn in existence. Okay, so we're gonna stand on this block over here. And what we're gonna do then is slash set spawn. There we go. Spawn location set for group default. Now what we're also gonna do is slash set world spawn. There we go. And we're also gonna do slash mv set spawn so for essentials for normal minecraft and for multiverse the spawn point is now over here and when people first join the server they will spawn over here if they do slash spawn they will also come back here and because i've done slash mv set spawn when i do mv tp spawn i will now also spawn over here so this is now the spawn point of the server easy as that now we want people to be able to go to the survival world and to the creative world and the way you do this is fully up to you so if we do slash plugins you will see that now we have world edit installed now this actually makes it a lot easier because now i can do slash slash want and we will use this to select the portal so we're gonna make this dirt portal over here into a portal that will actually bring us to the survival world now to do that we're gonna select both corners so that one over there and then the one down here there we go now we're gonna type mvp create and then you will see all the multiverse portal options over here so what we're gonna do is mv create we're gonna give it the name in this case survival and the world where the portal actually needs to bring us to is the world called world which is the survival world so we're gonna type mvp create survival survival is the name of the portal and then world which is the destination type enter and there we go. New portal, survival, created and selected. Now, if you walk in here, we will teleport to the survival world. Uh, you can go back to the spawn by typing slash spawn, of course. But now this is a portal. Now you can make the portal exactly how you want. You just basically select an area. And when people go inside of that area, they will go to the survival world. So I have my beautiful portal over here. I can, like on the side, I can just write uh, survival. There we go. Now it looks great. Now this is beautiful. And we can also put some water up here. Uh, like this. Wow, that looks great. Now we can do exactly the same thing with creative. Now creative, what's a nice block? Let's choose diamonds. Because everybody has diamonds in the creative world. And I want my creative portal to be a portal that is flat. Like a end portal. So like this. And then there we go. Okay, beautiful. This is gonna be our creative portal. Once again, select both corners. MVP create. We're gonna call it creative. And the world where it will need to bring us to is also called creative. So we're just gonna type creative two times. Press enter and there we go. New portal creative has been created. And it will bring us to creative. There we go. And now we're gonna do slash spawn and then try to flee this being of death. So I'm going to the title screen and let's turn off our server. So after stopping the server, we will actually go to the server folder. 
if you are hosting your server somewhere you will need to go to the FTP files. Now next we are going to the plugins folder and after that to multiverse core. Now in multiverse core you will have a file called world.yml. Open it and you will get a config file of your world. So over here we start with the normal world called world. Now pvp is true inside of this world, that is fine. The difficulty is easy. Let's set it to hard. There we go. Then if we scroll down, you will also see game mode. The game mode needs to be survival, of course, because it is a survival world. Now the rest is all fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's nice. Now inside of the end, we're gonna repeat this. So the difficulty needs to be hard also the game mode needs to be survival okay now the important part we have the creative world over here so for the creative world i want to set the difficulty to peaceful there we go so now no mobs will spawn naturally inside of the world then we're gonna leave the animals on true the monsters we're gonna set them to false because we don't have monsters in the world anyway so the monster spawning is on false the normal animals though is true so we can still spawn sheeps and other friendly mobs and then over here at game mode it is on survival we are actually gonna set this to creative now because it is a creative world i also want to set the bed respawn to false there we go so now when people sleep inside of a bed inside of the creative world they can't actually respawn there they can only respawn when they sleep inside of a world that is in survival now next we have world nether so once again the difficulty is going to be hard the game mode needs to be survival now last but not least is the spawn world so for the spawn world we're basically gonna disable everything so the difficulty is gonna be peaceful animals are going to false monsters are going to false as well now we also have allow hunger do you want people to get hunger no not inside the spawn world people can auto heal but they need to be in game mode adventure so they can't break any blocks now bad respawn is also going to false allow flight is also going to false we don't want people to fly in our spawn and then that is basically it Make sure to save your config. Let's restart the server and go back in game. And now here we are inside of adventure mode. So we can break any blocks. We can break anything. Also the slimes have disappeared. So now we are in adventure mode. We can do anything if we go inside of the creative portal. Let's do that first. Then you will see that we're actually getting set to creative. Also, we don't have the same inventory that we had inside of the spawn world. So we have a completely different inventory. We are in creative and we can build whatever we want. Now, I can have like lots of diamonds inside my inventory. I mean, I love diamonds. There we go. Now, if I go back to spawn, I will, of course, lose all the diamonds. I'll have a completely other inventory. I'm in adventure again. And if I go inside the survival portal, you will see I once again have a completely different inventory. And I'm actually in survival. I can break blocks now. Ah, uh, no. Help me. Please. I hate night. Gonna make a day. I have full control over you. Why are you still mad? It's day. It's day. So for this part, I'm going in creative real quick. And we're gonna make ourselves a nether portal. That works. Uh, like this. There we go. And we're gonna have a flint. And we're gonna open this portal. And let's go in there. And like you can see, I still have the same inventory. We're also in survival. And this is of course because we are now in the nether world. The nether world is linked to the normal world and to the end world. So we will keep the same inventory here. If I do slash spawn, I once again will go back to the spawn point and I can make my choice again. And that are basically the basics on how to turn a single micro server into kind of a hub server. Where you have a spawn world, where you have creative, where you have survival. And you can make even more worlds. You can make a minigame world for example. You can make worlds for special events you can do whatever you want multiverse is an amazing plugin and it allows you to do amazing things right now the micro server i have is an smp server that is solely survival but before i actually also had a creative world in there where people could actually build on plots and just make pretty things and having a spawn especially a very big spawn inside of a different world can also be really really handy anyways guys this is everything for now i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video hopefully you've learned something if you did make sure to leave a like and if you are new to the channel not subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then that's all for now and i will see you in the next one bye bye